Hi, welcome to Pink's Picks, recommendations from a retired English teacher. For 32 years, I was very, very fortunate to teach high school English, and for most of those, I spent teaching advanced placement, international baccalaureate, and Cambridge. Uh, I do miss my kids, my kids, uh, whether they are uh, 50 or freshmen in college, and I miss turning reluctant readers into literature lovers. So perhaps with this show, I'll be able to do just that, or maybe convince you to pick up a book that you might not have ordinarily read. For, for today's segment, I am going to talk about my coronavirus uh, sheltering in place, uh, staying safe at home, books that I have read, and I have read quite a few, as I'm sure you have as well. The first book that I read since this virus started uh, here in the U.S. is Where the Crawdads Sing. That might seem like a really obvious choice to read, and many of you have read it, but for those of you who haven't, let me tell you a little bit about what this is about. Um, the author, uh, Delia Owens, interestingly enough, was a former wildlife scientist, and she has a PhD in animal behavior. Um, the question I asked myself as I read this book and when I finished it is to what extent do nature or nurture or lack thereof contribute to behavior attitudes in our place in society? I find that a really interesting concept. Um, this is set uh, in 1951 um, up until 1969 in the primarily in the North Carolina Outer Banks region. Um, the, the language is very poetic and there's beautiful imagery. Uh, for the structure, uh, this is a third person narrative. It has 57 titled chapters, 368 pages. Uh, there's a prologue, and then following the prologue, it is in uh, retrospective narration, and it's not in chronological order either. The, the story jumps from, from event to event. Uh, that And those events transpire during different times. It's in two parts. The Marsh and the Swamp. Um, I, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, my only objection, and it's just a teeny, teeny, tiny one, uh, being raised a Southern gal, I found some of the Southern accents, if not contrived, they were just off. But that was such a minimal part of this book that I still would give this book A. The next book that I read during this coronavirus is completely different from Crawdads. Um, I would not refer to it as literature, but after I've read something like Where the Crawdads Sing, I want to read something that it, most of you refer to as uh, a beach read, although I don't call it that. I call it an airplane read or an airport read because there's so much going on around me that I want to read something that is very easy to pick up and put down. And this is James Patterson's The Inn. I liked this book. Ordinarily, I wouldn't have picked up this book at all, but I liked the title, The Inn, I liked the lighthouse, who doesn't like lighthouses? And so I happened to look at the back and I see that this is set in Gloucester, Massachusetts, which is uh, a town on the North Shore of Boston or the North Shore, as the rest of us say, about 30 miles uh, north of the city. And it's a, it, it's a, a love Gloucester. So, I thought, you know what? I'm going to give this a little read. 
And I love the landmarks that people from that area would recognize, that I recognized. Um, so again, James Patterson, and notice that it is and Candace Fox. So I need to mention her as well. Uh, what do I like about it? Well, I think we all like when, when the good guys uh, ultimately win. Um, a, a drug lord comes to town and this this small town and an unlikely motley crew, uh, mostly residents of this inn, um, decide to, to take the, the drug lord out. So I enjoyed that. Um, what else makes this an easy, easy read is that there are 100 and 11 chapters in 361 pages. With that, when, when your chapters are so short, it's simple to say, oh, I'll just read one more chapter before I take out the dog. Um, I'll read one chapter before I start dinner. I'll read another chapter. So that I liked very, very much. As far as literature is concerned, it, it wouldn't go in that shelf, but as far as uh, easy, sort of uh, mindless, uh, escapist literature during this coronavirus, I would give this book also for completely different reasons and A. Those are the only two books that I'm discussing in this segment. Next time, I'm going to be talking about Reconstructing Amelia and The Woman in Cabin 10. Until next time, see you later. Do your homework. <laughs>